Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I wanna introduce you guys to our new feature baked within Copilot, and that is the data store when it comes to our incident management cases. So this will allow you guys to upload files and extra artifacts to your cases that are created based on your alerts. So stick around and we'll jump into it. We do need to make some changes because we are relying on mini IO in the background to that actually serves as our file store. So we are going to modify our Docker Compose to add in our new Copilot Mini IO service. So I'm gonna copy what's within my Docker Compose. If you're installing Copilot for the first time, then this will already be in the template file, so you won't have to worry about it. But if you already have a, a running instance of Copilot, then we will need to first uh, stop Copilot, open up my Docker Compose, and then I'm going to uh, just go under my SQL. It doesn't matter, it can be really placed within anywhere, but I'll throw it under where I have uh, configured the database and paste that in there and go ahead and save that off. So we've modified the Docker Compose, but we also need to add some environment variables to our env file. So I'm gonna open up the env.example, and here we have a new section for our mini IO. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these, open up my env file, and then I'm just gonna paste these uh, below here. Um, and then here we can make a change to our root password. So I'm gonna change this from replace me. Uh, I'm just gonna set this to password. Uh, and that is the only modifications we need to make to the .env file. So go ahead and save that off. And now let's go ahead and run a Docker Compose pool. So this will pull uh, the latest version of Copilot as well as pull our uh, mini IO backend as well. All right, so with uh, the latest images pulled, we are now ready to bring up Copilot. So I'll just go ahead and say Docker Compose up dash D. And, oh, wait, did I have, sorry, I might have had a test instance already running on this. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, I already have something consuming port 9000. Uh, no problem. So I don't recommend you guys to make this tweak, but I'm gonna go ahead and make this tweak um, because I need to change the front end port. So I'm gonna just change this to uh, 8,000. Oh, 8,000 is already in use too. As you can see, I have a lot running on this system. Uh, what's he, Oh, Velociraptor. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now I'll do a Docker Compose logs dash follow. I'll make sure everything is starting up as expected. Then I'll go ahead and I'll wait for the front end to spin up and reload my page. All right, and let me go ahead and log in here. And all right, so now if I go into my uh, incident management and the cases here, here I've got a case that's created. I can now select this guy and we now have a data store tab. So now let me just open a notepad. I'm just gonna create something stupid. I'll just say, please subscribe and save this as please subscribe. .txt. All right, cool. So let's say I wanna upload that fi this file to the data store. We can now upload that file to the data store and we also have the ability to download this file as well. So now your SOC analyst can, I don't know, generate CSVs, for example, of various cases, upload those, uh, take screenshots of dashboards, you know, whatever it is um, that you guys want to upload, you guys now have the ability to upload files to cases to serve as kind of like supporting artifacts. Um, you can also download uh, directly from the data store as well. So I can download and we can see now that we uh, have our new file downloaded. Uh, images can be uploaded as well. And then here we get some metadata around the, the file. And this data applies per individual case. So let's say, for example, I could create a new case uh, test. So I'll set this to open, assign it to admin. Um, you know, also have the ability to sign cases to customers as well. Uh, and then we'll, there will be a case export uh, CSV coming coming very soon as well. Uh, maybe even by the time of this video, to be honest. Um, but I, I can submit that to create a new case. And then this case will also have their own data store, right? So we have separate data stores per cases so to allow you to upload, uh, you know, different artifacts to different cases. And that artifact will only correspond to that one case. Hopefully this is a nice little feature for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys find it find it useful. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I appreciate your time and I will see you in the next one.